We have modified our tractor with um, the autopilot from a drone, so um, they are conventionally used to plot waypoints around where you want to take your aerial photography from. Uh, we've adapted that system to control our tractor. Um, we've interfaced the human controls with actuators and the steering wheel with an electric motor to convert the signals the autopilot produces to control the tractor. So far everything's been a real team effort. We've had to have so many people just joining in, helping us out, and our sponsors have been amazing. So for the drilling, we actually had Simon from Simatech. He came down and actually calibrated our drill for us. That was something that we really appreciated getting on board with. Um, we've had Kieran from Hutchinson's doing our agronomy. He really just got involved, just helped us out, bought us fish and chips and everything. It was fantastic. Just enabled us to actually get on with things and actually understand what we needed to do. And then we've also had um, Harry from Precision Decisions setting up our spraying system for our liquid fertiliser. And that was just really useful stuff to actually set up our precision system to actually get the entire system working while we could concentrate on the tractor working autonomously. <laughs> now we've got to start thinking towards the future. The seeds in the ground, we've got to start thinking about the agronomy. How are we actually going to do that? So we've got to start thinking about using our ground rovers to actually go and drive over and give visuals for Kieran and then also start using the drone to actually capture our multispectral imagery to actually see where the first emergence is actually going to be coming and how we're going to start treating it. <laughs>